Hey now, I'm back to tell you about another good week I had in the world of passive trading. Welcome to the Passive Profits Report on Traders Landing. My name is Corey and I love to discuss all things related to cryptocurrencies, trading and passive income. In this live stream, I am going to document many of the opportunities I am personally exposed to, analyze the latest news affecting the crypto markets, examine Bitcoin price action, and at the end, I will answer all of the questions that come through the chat. But before we get started, understand that nothing in this video constitutes professional or financial advice, nor a representation or warranty of any kind. This video is for informational purposes only. The full disclaimer can be found in the video description. Given the uncertain policies on YouTube, it's crucial to be prepared with a contingency plan. That's why I'm urging everyone to join my wildly popular Rumble channel, ensuring that this content will continue to remain accessible to anyone without any restrictions. There is a link in the video description. All of the opportunities I am going to cover in this live stream can be found by going to the traderslanding.net website and navigating to the passive trading section. When you come here, you can go ahead and create a free community account and, which, and then you can log in and find all of the materials that I am going to cover in this live stream. It's also important to note that everything I cover in this stream has a risk capital number assigned to it. If you are interested in gaining further insights into how I strategically place each opportunity within my risk capital portfolio, check out this article posted in the community regarding risk capital units. Now let's get into the platforms. First up, we have Alpha Copy Trading and it got itself into an outsized drawdown, but started to realize some of the losses, closing out losing positions with minimal losses, as we can see here. And we are currently in a larger drawdown on the copy trader and a smaller drawdown on the PAM. And that's just because the PAM started after the copy trader. So let's go over the information with Alpha Copy Trading. Um, there are a few different flavors with Alpha Copy Trading. Uh, we have the PAM on Lyrinix, the PAM on LQDFX, and the PAM on the Copy Trader on Lyrinix. So all of them are going to be taking the same trades, um, but with the Copy Trader, you have the option of changing your risk uh, portfolio or your risk allocation. So with all of them, the minimum entry is $100. The performance fee is 30%. All trades are disclosed with a 60 minute delay on Lyrinix and in real time on LQDFX. Withdrawals are processed manually um, and they're typically between the first and the fifth of the month. Um, there's a MyFX book for the Lyrinix PAM. There's a MyFX book for the LQDFX PAM. And also there is a my FX book for the master account for the copy trader on Lyrinix. Now, the performance fee on the copy trader is higher at 35% as compared with the PAMs at 30%. And the minimum at the lowest risk setting on the copier is 10K. If you want to go, I wanted to go to a, a lower minimum, it would increase the risk. And of course, if we go down to the um, bottom of the page, we will see the copy trader enrollment guide and there's a matrix in there that will go over all of the machinations and settings for the risk uh, allocation units. Also, there is a Telegram support group for alpha copy trading. So if you have any questions regarding alpha copy trading that I can't answer, then you can certainly reach out to them directly and get it from the horse's mouth. To get, make sure that you are copying or following this post by clicking here and clicking on follow post. And then once you do that, any updates that I put here, you will be notified however you have your community notification set up. Now it's important, quite important with a copy trader that you are following um, this information because sometimes there are changes that need to be made to a copy trader depending on what the trader is doing. And in order to get that information, um, the way that we have it set up in the community is through our posts. So if you are copying, if you are following this post and I update information here, however your notifications are set up in the community, you will be notified 
and uh, you can make those changes accordingly. It doesn't apply to PAMs because with PAMs, um, the trader can make the changes for everyone in the account. With a copy trader, you actually have to go in and make those changes. But whether you're in the PAM or the copy trader, I certainly recommend that you are following this community post to get the latest news, notes, and nuggets on everything related to this opportunity. I'm in at 60 risk units, and for some reason that's stuck there. Okay, so I'm in at 60 risk units um, just because of I've been with them for a really long time, so I'm pretty comfortable with them, and I've added my risk units going forward. Um, now, the lo recent losses that it took um, last week was an average of a 7.19% loss. Um, I expect to make that up in the coming um, weeks and months ahead. So that doesn't concern me too much, um, but I will be keeping an eye on it and obviously reporting on it every week. Um, Alpha Copy Trading does have an IB program if you are a Lyrinix or a LQDFX introducing broker. Um, there are actually different structures for each one. So this is the lot rebate structure for um, PAMs. Um, this is the lot rebate structure for copy trading. It's both. These are both a four tier lot rebate structure. Um, just different amounts per tier. And then obviously we have the LQDFX standard offering in their IB program. So that is all available to IBs that are um, either Lyrinix or LQDFX IBs. And later in the stream, we'll go over um, what an IB is and what an IB does. Okay, let's move on to Artivan. <coughs> Excuse me. Artivan has been trading for just over 14 months and is up over 700%. Last week, he got a very nice gain of 2.76%, but keep in mind that Artivan exclusively uses a Martingale bots. So this places this particular copier on the high risk side of the high risk category. Uh, that being said, uh, before I tell you any more, just understand that nothing that I'm going to tell you about Artivan is considered financial advice. I am in it. I'm just explaining um, what I am doing in this space. And that being said, let's get into it. Artivan is a copier on Lyrinx. The minimum to get in is 1K. The performance fee is 15%, very, very low. And the way a performance fee works, it's only on profit. So if I was to profit $1,000 in April, come May 1st, um, Artivan is going to get 150 and then the remainder will stay in my trading account. Um, there are no junk fees with Artivan. You can enter and exit at any time with Artivan because it's a copy trader. I have full control over it. All trades are disclosed in real time, so there's no shenanigans going on. Uh, we know that with this broker. Also, um, he trades the major FX pairs, and there is a MyFX book that is connected to the master account. I'm in at 35 risk units, um, which is on the lower side for me, but I go over 30 if I have over years of history on any account, and we do have that for Artivan. I just aren't, aren't going crazy in Artivan because it's a Martingale strategy, and um, it does get into a sizable drawdowns from here to there. So it does place this one on the riskier side. So let's let's discuss that because a lot of people don't understand um, what the drawdown is. So we're gonna look at this yellow line right here. And this is the profit line, this this um, red line. And the orange line is unrealized gain. If it's below the red line, it's unrealized losses. So this is unrealized losses. If it was above the red line, it would be unrealized gain. So as we go on here, as we trade, we see that these are unrealized losses while the profit keeps on increasing. So the way that uh, layman would, would look at that, the way that I would look at that is quite simple. If I got in on February 8th and my unrealized profit today would be 701%. If I was to close the trades, I wouldn't make all the trades. I wouldn't make 701%. Um, it would actually close down here. So rather than 701%, I would be at 430% of profit, assuming that all of these numbers in my FX book are correct. And they're usually within um, pretty close to being correct, uh, typically. So that's that's how that unrealized drawdown works. And that's the, um, the risk with the Martingale, because this could easily go down here to zero. Uh, if the market goes against those positions violently and for whatever reason, those bots do not close out the trades at a loss. Um, and that is the risk of um, being in that Martingale. Now, um, as with all copiers, it's especially important that you are following the community post because if there are any updates or anything that Artivan needs to get out, he will contact me and then I will 
uh, write, update this post, and then however you have your community update set up, you will be notified. Um, we've had issues in the past where we were sending out emails and it's just become too cumbersome for me to do. So we're using this post system. And previously we had uh, multiple versions for whatever reason, uh, internet propagation was the reason, but I don't wanna get into that, where we had multiple copies of the onboarding guide and one of them was incorrect and we had to get information out for people to correct uh, their copier settings um, to Artivan's recommended settings. Um, so if something like that happens again or, or anything gets out there, um, you need to be following this post um, to get that information. Artivan does not have um, a global distribution, so I'm just, I'm just distributing the information as he gives it to me. Um, with Artivan, there is an IB program. If you are a Lyrinix IB, um, that is wonderful. It is a four-tiered lot rebate structure. And there is a non-branded onboarding guide. So if you were to come and click right here, it would bring up the non-branded onboarding guide. And all you would have to do is go ahead and click your link, uh, paste your link right in there. You go file, download, and you can download this in whatever format that you wanted. And you can distribute it to your Lyrinix IB downline. And then of course we support IBs in our community. So you can come in here if you have any questions or need a hand getting started. Um, with Artivan as an IB. This is the intro video. And yeah, so Artivan is doing what it does. We continue to see profits. Last week we got 2.76%. And, uh, you know, it continues to be on that riskier side. So just keep that in mind. Explosive gains often means explosive losses. That's kind of the mantra on the channel. And uh, we, do, we do see that happen uh, from time to time. So just keep that in mind. All right, moving along to Blue Horseshoe. So Blue Horseshoe got into some bad trades and uh, recently closed out a bunch of positions um, at a loss of uh, 23% uh, today. Closed out all of those bad positions, which is fine. Um, didn't lose the whole account. Uh, we just gave back some profits. Uh, Blue Horseshoe 2, ironically enough, and Blue Horseshoe 3 was not part of this trading. Now, as I always say, you wanna be following the posts um, so you want to be following the post to get any update. If you are thinking about Blue Horseshoe or you're in Blue Horseshoe, it's how I get this information out. And basically what I said was that the trader, and this is this is like uh, just, just good fortune for those in Blue Horseshoe 2 and Blue Horseshoe 3, but when Blue Horseshoe 1 started opening positions last week, there was high latency with the terminal. Um, I think there was some internet issues where the... Uh, MT4 terminal was located of the trader and it, it wasn't getting into Blue Horseshoe 2 and Blue Horseshoe 3 trades at the correct positions. So he ceased, he, he turned the trading off so he could diagnose those those internet connection, it was latency issues, um, which has since been resolved. But all of these trades that Blue Horseshoe took this loss on right here, uh, Blue Horseshoe 2 and Blue Horseshoe 3 were not part of those trades. So it's just it's just good fortune, really. Um, so Blue Horseshoe 2 and Blue Horseshoe 3 didn't, didn't take those losses. Um, the latency issue has been corrected with Blue Horseshoe 2. Um, Blue Horseshoe 3, he ran some tests this morning and there were still some latency issues with that MT4 account. So he is working um, with his people on his, in his data center side to figure out why that is. So Blue Horseshoe 1 and Blue Horseshoe 2 are back to trading. Blue Horseshoe 3, um, is going to be um, another day. It'll be tomorrow um, when it looks like it will be resolved. And you know what? I will need to update everybody on that. Update status of BH3. Uh, I'll do that after the live stream. Um, just to go over the particulars, um, it's all the same trades in Blue Horseshoe um, one, 2, and 3. Um, it's just able to, um, we, the trader split it up so that the broker can split up the trades between the different liquidity providers just because of the massive volume in those accounts, um, which, which is fine. Um, it's, it's a good precaution to take. So Blue Horseshoe is a PAM on Lyrinix. The minimum to get in is $100. The performance fee is 30%. No junk fees. Enter and exit at any time. All trades are disclosed in real time. It's manual trading, only trading the Euro USD. And there are separate MyFX books for BH1, BH2, and BH3. I'm in at 60 risk units. It's one of the ones I'm in the most with. Um, there are platform onboarding guides right here. Um, there is a Blue Horseshoe IB program with non-branded onboarding guides. And it is a four-tiered IB structure, just like many of the ones that we cover on the channel. 
um, and we'll talk about that. Um, we'll talk about IVs later on in the uh, stream. So yeah, that is Blue Horseshoe. Um, continues to do what it does. Took that loss, but saved the account. And Blue Horseshoe 2 and 3 were unaffected, fortunately, due to that internet latency issue. Um, but trading will has commenced back on Blue Horseshoe. Um, Blue Horseshoe 2 will be uh, recommencing today. And Blue Horseshoe 3 will be recommencing tomorrow. Um, that being said, we will move on. All right. Um, let's go on to Bullhead. Okay. Okay, Bullhead is up 64% in just over one year of trading. And last week, it got a very nice profit of over four points. Now, since the PAM manager... Um, he's changed the instruments on this thing. So he's trading different pairs. And ever since he did that, it really has taken off with a very small performance fee of just 15%. This account stands out in my risk capital portfolio as an excellent value. But before I tell you any more, understand this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. There is extreme risk in, in trading, including a complete loss of funds. So with that being said, let's go over what is going on with Bullhead. So Bullhead is a PAM on Lyrinix. The minimum to get in is just $100. The performance fee, as I said before, is just 15%. And that's only on profits. The way a performance fee works on, uh, on profit is that let's say that I gain $1,000 in the month of April. May 1st rolls around. The trader takes out $150. Um, via the broker and then the remainder stays in my account and is available for future trading There are no other junk fees with this. So it's only the performance fee. If there is no profit, there is no fee All trades are just oh, I can enter and exit at any time Which is really nice um, and becoming increasingly rare with PAM accounts. So um, This one still lets you get in and get out at any time. All trades are disclosed in real time This is typically when you change the uh, the pairs over from all USD pairs to more commodity-based pairs, um, mainly being USD CAD. Um, we've seen really, really good results from this one. I'm in at 35 risk units, and I will probably be increasing that next month. Um, with this one, we do have the um, enrollment guide, we have a video, an enrollment video, and if you are interested in this or you are in it and you wanna be updated whenever there are changes or I see anything going on with this, then, um, you want to be following this post in the community, just click on follow post and you can go ahead and do that. Um, other than that, uh, let's take a look at, oh, we do have, yes, we do have a trade. Yeah, as we are wont to do on a Monday, let's look at a uh, bullhead trade. Okay, so this is the US CAD. As I said, a lot of the trading is done on the CAD and we can see here that this is an uptrend. And actually, he took a short on this. So I wouldn't take a short on this, but he did, and it worked out really well. But what we do see here, the reason to take a short is the seller's entry. So we have a seller's entry here, a seller's entry here, a seller's entry here, and then the final seller's entry here. So on that, on that fourth seller's entry is where he gets in. So if we typically see him scalp, so that means that he's looking at the lower time frames. So if we take the one hour time frame and we remember that there is this um, line here, this seller's entry trend line here, and we come up to the um, we come up to the one minute time frame, and what we see here, and what we see here is what I would characterize as violent bearish divergence. You can see it going up, 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 up. And we can see the RSI, the momentum oscillator, going down, 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 very violently. It's going up. And then whenever we see a violent divergence, typically um, there is a change in, in market direction. And we can see here that he gets in short right here. And then the market goes right in his direction after a few minutes. And then it goes against him. And we're in a brief drawdown right there. And then it goes all the way down here. Now, again, I don't, I would have gotten out here, but that would have been wrong. That's just my trading style. What I could see is, I don't know why he, he got out there, but from what I can tell is we can see, 
we are starting to get the RSI into that oversold territory um, right here. Then it comes back out and then we get bullish divergence here. So you can see that it goes up. So it's the opposite of what happened here, indicating the market might go back up. And that's what also happened. The market did go back up. So, I mean, it's a beautiful trade. It's not a trade I would have taken personally. It's not my style, but it is his style. Um, you know, he's looking at those lines on the on the higher time frame. From what we can see from all the analysis we do every week, um, this definitely comports with his trading style. And on this small uh, portion of equity on this trade last week, which was um, April 11th um, last week, um, got a 4.26% gain on this. So it's a very, very nice trade. Um, so, you know, I, I like to, I'm a trading nerd. I like to go over this crap. I don't know if it interests some people some, sometimes, I guess. Uh, we do have real traders that, that actually watch um, and give me feedback in the community. So uh, it's just kind of an interesting trade. Um, the one that I wouldn't take in, so I like to highlight it because there are all kinds of ways to make money in this market. And uh, my way isn't necessarily um, the way that the best way, just the way that works for me. And this trading style is the way that works for the bullhead trader. And we are appreciative of that. And by the way, if you are a trader, um, this software is called TraderSync. There is a 15% discount for anyone in my community. If you are trading, you need to be logging your trades. And this trading journaling software, TraderSync, is the best I've ever seen. And I've, I've used a lot, including my own. Uh, where I, have my, I used to have my own journal before I found these guys, and it's phenomenal. Um, also, with Bullhead, there is an IB program. It is a four-tiered lot rebate structure. And if you are a Lyrinix IB, you can go ahead and download the Bullhead Trading Lyrinix Onboarding Guide. All you have to do is just take your affiliate link with, on the Lyrinix IB website. You paste it in here, and you go to File, go download in whatever format that you like, and then you can hand it out to your IB downline. And we support, completely support our IBs in the community. So if you have any questions whatsoever, head over to the community. You can DM me right up there. You can post in um, platform discussion, which is right over here. And uh, anyone in the community is, uh, we have a lot of people that are willing to help, including myself. Um, so that is Bullhead Trading. Um, just continues to do really, really well. I mean, ever since here, we've been, going up. We are now at an all-time high in terms of profit for Bullhead. So hopefully that will continue um, to uh, to proceed as, as this will continue to go up and up and up. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? And then I'll increase my risk capital exposure. Okay, next up we have Cable Express. Beautiful. Okay. So Cable Express is a new PAM account that will be taking the same trades as the copier. And this is the MyFX book of the copier that has been running on Lyrinix since January called GPPUSD. Now, this copier is up over 219% in just three short months of trading. And last week, we got an average gain of 2.5%. But before I tell you any more, understand this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. The trading is very, very risky. Um, a complete loss of funds is possible. Uh, we have seen it happen in the past. These things do crap out from time to time. So just keep that in mind. Um, there is no holy grail in trading as much as I would like to think so. So this is the copier and this is the PAM. Now the PAM, um, oh, look at that. We already made 0.77% um, today. Um, and it is still the morning for me. <laughs> so the uh, the copier at the regular risk setting um, at the one-to-one -one copy ratio, copying by equity, is going to be a lower risk than the um, than the copier. So we could do the copier or the PAM. The copier is going to be higher risk, also higher reward. The PAM is going to be lower risk. The PAM is also set and forget it. The copier kind of have to keep on top of it. Uh, so let's go over it. Cable Express or um, the pound sterling versus the um, US dollar um, is a PAM on Lyrinix. Let me bring this up right here. And if you hear that, that's my landscapers outside. Um, but we have to, they come on Mondays, but we have to do this on Monday. So I apologize for any noise. Um, so we have the PAM and we have the copier. The PAM on Lyrinix is called Cable Express. The copier is called GPP USD. The minimum on the PAM is 200. The minimum on the copier is 500. 
The performance fee on the PAM is 15% and the performance fee on the copier is 20%. Now, um, the performance fee is only on profit. If there is no profit, there is no fee. There are no junk fees with either the PAM or the copier. With the PAM, you can enter at any time and withdrawals are processed once a month between the first and the fifth. With the copier, you can enter and exit at any time and the performance fee is taken weekly, whereas with the PAM account, the performance fee is taken monthly. All trades are disclosed with a 15 minute delay that is to prevent people from copying the copier. This is a bot trading, it's algo trading, and he only trades cable, um, GPP versus the USD. Now, um, GPP USD is referred to as cable because the pricing of the, um, the British pound sterling versus the US dollar used to be a cable that ran under the, there's still lots of cables that run over the Atlantic Ocean, but um, the first cable was um, to put this currency pair and let people know what it was priced at. Because before the US dollar was the world's reserve currency, it was the British pound sterling. And then that changed after World War II. And then you had a reconstruction of Europe and you have the Bretton Woods Agreement and then, you know, that whole thing. So um, that's that. I'm in at 35 risk units. Um, I'm in at 35 um, because of its explosive nature. So typically I don't go over 30 unless I see a, week, a year's uh, worth of history on any account. But I am altering that rule and I do do that from time to time when I think I could ROI in less than a year. And I think that is the case here. Um, to make sure you are following this post to get any updates on the Cable Express, you follow a post right here. And we do have the enrollment guide right here. Uh, that will load up. Um, that is the PAM enrollment guide. Now, with the Copy Trader enrollment guide, it's very, very, very important that we are copying how the um, trader wants us to copy. And that is... Um, that is the minimum lot size, and also allocate required balance in USD, and you want to be following by equity. This is the most important one. Select follow by equity. Okay, that is what the trader recommends. Uh, but if you want to increase your risk, you can certainly do that. Um, if you know what you are doing, you can increase, and you could follow by a fixed lot size, or you can increase the multiplier. However you want to handle your business is fine by me. <laughs> um, and then any updates, obviously we have uh, that right here. Um, so any updates that come through, if you're following this post, you will be notified um, when those changes happen. Uh, is there anything else I want to go over? Oh yes, there is an IB program with Cable Express. It is a four tiered lot rebate structure. And if you are a Larynx IB, you can download the non-branded onboarding guide uh, for the copier and the PAM place your Lyrinx IB um, into the onboarding guide. You can download it and then uh, you can hand it out to your IBs. That being said, if you're still watching thus far, please like and subscribe. Uh, it helps the channel grow, uh, which helps our community grow, which brings us more opportunities to the community. So that would be very helpful. And that is uh, Cable Express. Uh, continues to be a stalwart um, these past few months in the Traders Landing community. All right, next up, dynamic yield. Um, let's see here, let's take a sip of water. Excuse me. Dynamic yield is a recently launched PAM account that has already achieved oppressive results, generating over 25% of profit in just two short months of trading. Our familiarity with this, bro with this trader dates back to August 2023, where they amassed a remarkable profit of over 180%. And last week in my account, I got a modest gain of 0.63%, which I am happy to take. Um, that being said, understand that nothing I'm going to tell you is financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. This is just what I am doing in this passive trading space. That being said, let's go over the information for dynamic yield. So this is all located in the community if you have any questions regarding it. Uh, this is a PAM on Lyrinix. The minimum is 1K. The performance fee is only 35%, and that is only on profits. There are no junk fees with this. If there is no profit, there is no fee. I can get in at any time, and withdrawals are processed at the beginning of each month. All trades are disclosed in real time. 
This account trades the major FX pairs, and there is a publicly available MyFX book. I'm in at 30 risk units. Just following my rule, I don't go more than 30 units unless I see either a year's history, trading history, or I think I'm going to ROI in less than a year's time, or usually in that six month window, I'm looking at ROI if I get more than 30 risk units in. Um, the enrollment guide is right here for the dynamic yield. You can download that at your leisure. Um, we do have the trading data, the historical trading data that was given to me by the trader's MT4 account. You can download that as a CSV file and do with it what you wish. And then we turn that into a graphical interface right here where you can see the past performance of this particular account on other brokers. Now, if you are in this and you want to get updated, like when I increase my risk unit cap, my risk unit exposure to it, or if there's any change to withdrawals or anything like that, you want to go ahead and be following this community post right here. Now, if you are a Lyrinix IB, there is an IB program with this one. It is, unlike many of the others, it is a three-tiered lot rebate structure, not a four-tiered lot rebate structure like Bullhead or Blue Horseshoe or any of those. There is a non-branded onboarding guide right here that you can use. All you have to do is paste your Lyrinix affiliate link right here. You can download this and then you can distribute it to your Lyrinix IB downline if that is what you would like to do. Again, make sure that you are copying, that you are following this post to get any updates with dynamic yield. And uh, this thing is, um, you know, it started out great. Then we get into this whole hump thing. And typically what happens is when traders are kind of stagnant, it means that there's um, adverse market conditions. And we expect that the, uh, the the exponential growth will continue as we have seen with the um, extensive trading history that we have right here. So I'm looking forward to that as we continue in this space. And that is uh, dynamic yield. We'll continue to be in this and monitor this as the trading unfolds. All right, next up. Oh, very nice, very nice, Elite Trader. Okay. So Elite Trader has seen an impressive 83% increase since June. It stands out as one of the most reliable passive income platforms I've been a part of over the past year. And I anticipate that trend to continue. It slowly uh, as slow and steady gains coupled with rare drawdowns make it a standout performer. Last week, I got a nice sustainable gain of 0.8%. But before I tell you any more, understand this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you what we're doing in our, our passive trading community and our trading community. Um, losses do happen in trading. There is no holy grail, Even though this thing is has been killing the market, that's not to say that tomorrow I can't go like that because that certainly is a possibility in trading, okay? That being said, let's go over the details. Uh, Elite Trader is a PAM on Lyrinix. The minimum is 500 to get in. Performance fee is 33%. Performance fees are taken out once a month and it is only on profit. If there is no profit, there is no fee. Now, there are no junk fees with this. All trades are disclosed with a 15 minute delay to prevent copying um, this trader, um, as with many other PAM accounts, uh, unlike many other PAM accounts, with this one, I can get in and get out at any time whatsoever. There's no restrictions. He only trades the euro versus the USD, which is the most heavily traded instrument in the history of the world with a daily trading volume typically reaching over one trillion dollars. So liquidity is not an issue with the Euro USD. There is a publicly available MyFX book, which is linked right here in the community. And I am in very heavy at 60 risk units. If you want to get any updates, make sure that you are following this particular post. And if there are any updates with Elite Trader, you will be notified. However, your community notifications are set up. However, um, this is ho-hum. I, I never really had to notify anyone about any change or issue with Elite other than maybe increasing my risk capital exposure. That's about it. Um, Elite Trader. Now, as we are wont to do on a Monday, we are going to take a look at an actual trade that happened last week. Um, really, really interesting trade. Uh, not a trade that I would have necessarily taken, but I, I actually I take that back. This is actually a good level. So on the one hour, typically 
the elite trader is a scalper. So he's looking to get in and get out of the market um, quickly. Um, typically, what a scalper will look is top-down analysis. And what I mean by that is look at the higher time frame chart first at areas in the market where he might be looking to get in and actually execute on the smaller time frame chart. So that's how we're going to analyze this trade here. I don't know what he was thinking with these trades. I know they're manual trading, but I can only interpret it by how I look at the market myself. So uh, we're going to look at that right here. So we see that this right here is a key point in the market because this is the area where the market went up. Um, on this one hour chart where each candle is one hour. So when the price returns right back here in the order book, there's most likely going to be buyers right here. Now, if it's a third touch, you have um, more of a chance of a reaction and not just to fall through here, but we do get even a gap in price right here. So this is pretty strong, this, uh, this level, because it, it did get that nice reaction. So when price returns to this level, traders going to be looking for a reaction here and it's going to be looking for a bounce. So when price returns to this level, this area of level, and we can actually see here, he's actually not targeting this level. He's actually targeting this level. This is this is called a QM, Quasimodo level right here. Okay, and there's most likely going to be reaction, even more likely here than there would be at the extreme level. Um, that's just typically how trading works, um, how these markets work. So at that level, we can see there's also this wick down right here, which is telling you a lot. Okay, on this, uh, and then we get this volume in after. So when price returns right back here, what do we see? We see regular bullish divergence. We see a lower low on price as price touches this support area, and we see a higher low on the indicator. This is the relative strength index, it's a momentum oscillator. So uh, typically, a trader, when they see bullish divergence, they want to get in on a long. And that's exactly what the trader does. We have a volume spike right here, which indicates that the trend is going to continue or there's going to be a reaction. And we do get the reaction right up here. So right away, we're in profit. Right away, but there's no drawdown right here. So the trader gets into profit, and then we can see it hits this level right up here, which is a resistance level, which is where I would have gotten out, but I'm not trading this account. The trader is, so he doesn't close a trade, it gets back in here, and then we get into a drawdown, and then it kind of futzes around here. And it gets really down there. And then, you know, that's where the drawdown would have happened. And I might have taken the L right there, but he didn't. He went, the uh, price went right back up here. Then we get this consolidation. And then he, I mean, it's really rare to see this. So I'll highlight it. But he, he got the top, he got right before the top of the market. It touched here again. And then he was, he missed the top of the market by two minutes. Yeah. By two minutes, he missed the top of the market, which is which is fine. On this small um, bit of equity, he had risked on this position. He made uh, three percent in profit, three point zero three percent, and this trade was open for six and a half hours. So a very nice trade, right? Uh, yeah. So that that's basically it. You're looking at a top-down analysis of scalpers, that's how they trade typically. You're looking at the higher time frame areas of interest, which was right here, and then you're going up to the lower time frame to execute, which he finds the increase in volume combined with this um, with this support line that was confirmed here, and here again, third touch of that support line, confirmed with regular bullish divergence and the increase in volume. So that this was a freaking beautiful trade. Really, really nice. Um, if you are a trader, I know a lot of traders do watch the channel and are in the community. This software is called TraderSync. It is the best journaling software I have ever used. Um, and there is a 15% discount for traders in um, the Traders Landing community. You just have to use the link in the community to get that discount. If you are a Lyrinix IB, there is a four tiered lot rebate structure for Elite Trader. Um, all you have to do is register as a Lyrinix IB. Click here for the non-branded onboarding guide, take your affiliate link, slap it in here, then you can go ahead and download it. And you are off to the races with Elite Trader. Any questions regarding this, um, head over to the community. You can go ahead and you can DM me, or you can go down here, you could go down here to the platform discussion section, ask whatever question that you like, and people in the community can answer or I can answer any questions that you have regarding any of these, um, including Elite Trader. 
uh, which is having a great uh, great history. And we are in one, two, three, four, five, six trades right now. Um, all obviously Euro versus the USD. He is looking to sell. You wanna see what it is? Let's take a look. I have a little time. Look at the Euro USD. Uh, Euro USD. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Would you be looking to buy this market? This is the one hour here. This is the daily here. Yeah, it's just going down. Euro is taking a dump. Um, yeah, so this is going down. We did get this reaction here. I was talking to a community member about this when Blue Horseshoe was in that drawdown. And I did, I did forecast this right here. It would get the bounce. And then of course, uh, it, if it got up here, this area right here is a very strong sell zone. This ABC level right here. If it got up here, I'll show you right here. A lot of sellers up here. So if this thing bounces up here today, I'm gonna go short. That that would be my setup. Um, or um, if I wasn't doing this live stream, I'd probably look into short this pullback um, into the trend. I would get. I probably look at the five minute time frame. Um, but yeah, that's Elite Trader. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Um, it helps our community grow, it helps the channel grow, it helps bring more of these opportunities at better terms into our community. And of course, we love to help each other out and uh, make profits together. So yeah, like, subscribe, share it with like-minded people. Um, everybody is welcome to join us and discuss all of these cool things that we're in. Uh, speaking of which, look at uh, Escape the Matrix. Took a big crap uh, yesterday, uh, last week. Um, took like a like a forty eight percent hit. Um, so it was up to two hundred and fifty percent, and now it's down to like one hundred and twenty five percent. I've been telling people over and over again that they take the same positions, um, the very similar positions to the alpha copy trading algos. Um, so anything that happens with alpha, um, typically not all the time, but a lot of times has outsized impact. So if alpha made a, if alpha made a little profit, you'll see a lot of profit on my matrix or if alpha made a little loss, you'll see a crazy loss on, on, um, on matrix. So it is what it is. It had, um, that crazy loss last week. Um, and you know, it does what it, it do it did down to 120 percent gain, but the issue with this one has always been um, the performance fee at 50 percent. I mean, the night that's nice minimum to get in at 100 percent, but also the thing I don't like is the I'm in the U.S., so I have to go on and off with crypto with LQDFX. So when I take off funds with crypto LQDFX, I get that like five to eight percent haircut, which I hate. Um, but you know, that that's what it is. So but I make. You know, you do pretty well with IBs there, so I put my IB comp in there. I don't quite worry about it too much, but I don't like to see that loss, but it is what it is, I had to take it. Um, but obviously we're still up on this one. Um, typically, you know, what we see is after after these losses, you do see it kinda, kinda get in. I would be hesitant to get in right now um, because we're at a, um, you know, we're, we are at a 15K balance with a 2000 open PL. That means there is a significant drawdown um, over 10%. Um, so I would be waiting for this open PL to get to zero or even in the positive number before I'm going to put any more money in it. There are other uh, PAM accounts on this broker um, that I think are better than Matrix. I was in Matrix, just a place to park my. Um, my portfolio, my IB distributions for a time before we found these other ones that we'll talk about in a little while. Um, the other thing I don't like about it is obviously the performance fee is 50%. Um, but yeah, I'm in at 30 units, um, probably more than that, but it's all risk-free money for me. Um, so yeah, that, that's what it is. Um, not saying that this one is good to get in right now. Um, I, am, I am not putting any more funds in this right now, uh, but I'll continue to cover it because I know many people in the community are in it. Um, but I'm not putting anything in it. I'm gonna just let it ride. And remember, after a loss like this, there's no more 50% performance fee until it gets back up. So I'll be at from I'll be at from 120% profit to 230% profit 
without this 50% performance fees. Now, if I take the capital out, I lose that, okay? So I'm making up this loss without the performance fee. So it's going to happen twice as fast. Um, and you know what, I need to make a, a point of that. Um, and this is called a watermark. Watermark, discuss. I'm just making, making a note because after, I should let people know about that when I'm done here. Right, and matrix, and VH. okay. Uh, we have a new section in the community. I was gonna preview this later, but if you go to Trader's Reference, and I think I put it in watermark. I uh, might not have. I have to, I thought I did, yeah, watermarks, watermarks for PAMs and copy traders. Okay, so this basically explains how a watermark works in terms of a performance fee. Um, and basically, any loss that is realized, um, the gains to wherever you were previously, um, that is done without the, uh, those profits are, are achieved without the performance fee. So you get back faster, uh, which is a really nice feature. And that is, that's industry standard. Um, it is industry standard, uh, but it is uh, confirmed with LQDFX and Lyrinx. They both uh, use the same watermark calculations. They're very, very similar. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make up, I'm going to just leave it in and I'll just make up the profits. Um, but I'm not putting any more money in. Um, not right now anyway. And that is escape the matrix. Take it. Sip here. Okay. Let's move on to Euro and Golden Bison. Um, the Euro and Golden Bison PAM accounts, this is the Golden Bison, this is the Euro Bison. Um, you know, they're, they're doing really, really well last week. Uh, Euro Bison got over a 10% uh, profit and Golden Bison got over an 8% profit last week. But clearly, this is a volatile account, but the profit potential here is undeniable. Um, up 50% since December 19th and Euro Bison is up 44% since December 19th. But before I tell you any more, understand this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Please, um, please know that these things could crap out at any time, especially volatile ones like these. Okay, so just keep that in mind as you as we traverse this field. So let's talk about these two different accounts. We have the Euro Bison on Lyrinix and the Golden Bison. Euro Bison um, is a PAM account. The minimum to get in is $400. The performance fee is 25%, and that is only on profits. If there is no profit, there is no fee, no junk fees. Enter and exit at any time, which is kind of rare these days for PAMs, more so you see that under the copiers. Um, all trades are disclosed in real time. Um, primarily trades, the Eurobice primarily trades the Euro USD and a little bit of the gold CFD, and there is a public MyFX book. I am in at 15 risk units, which is on the low side, just because of the, um, of the shorter history on this, but I probably will be increasing this uh, because I do think there is potential to ROI here pretty fast, especially with the low performance fee at just 25%. Um, and now that he has shown that he's able to handle losses, I feel a lot more comf confident increasing my risk capital exposure. And um, I'm just going to make a note of that because I will revisit that Bison risk capital. After this live stream, I will take a look at that more in detail. Um, with the Euro with the Euro Bison um, and then the Golden Bison, there is an enrollment guide um, right here. We do have a um, welcome video and make sure that um, oh yeah, so I reduced my exposure on March fourth, um, but he's since come out of that, so I think I'm going to increase my exposure um, either this week or maybe maybe next month. I'll, I'll uh, gauge that. Um, after this live stream, I'll take a look at that. Um, if you are uh, want updates on this, you want to make sure you're following this post. Um, and that way, whenever I update anything, you will be notified um, when I do those updates, however you have your community notifications set up. Uh, Golden Bison, same thing. Uh, Pam, 400 minimum, 25% performance fee. 
no junk fees, enter and exit at any time. All trades are disclosed in real time. The, the only difference is um, same trader, but primarily trades the gold contract for difference with a little bit of the euro. Um, there's a public MyFX book, again, at 15 risk units. And uh, we do have the platform updates um, right here at the bottom. We do have the onboarding guide if you are um, new to Lyrinix and you don't know how to operate. This goes through everything that you need to know. Now, if you are a Lyrinix IB, there is an IB program for both of these. They're both the same um, for tiered lot rebate structure. And we do have the non-branded onboarding guide in Google Docs format. You just log in the community, um, click on this link, and all you have to do is just paste your Lyrinix IB link into the uh, document, and then you can download it um, right here. Just paste your link. And then you go to File, Download. And if you want to um, like edit it or do whatever you want, you can actually copy it, make a copy to your Google account, and then you can uh, you know, do what you wish. Um, so yeah, that, that's the Bison, the Bison PAMs. Um, same trader that's trading both of these PAMs. Um, same terms, just the Euro Bison is primarily um, the Euro, and then the Golden Bison is primarily the Gold. And again, you know, this thing is up 44% since December 19th and up, so five months, 50% in five months, so 10% a month on average. And what I was looking for was this, um, you know, I took out capital when that happened, and now we see that he was able to stop the bleeding and um, recover those losses. And remember, because it was below the watermark that all of these losses recovered really fast because that 25% performance fee is not charged um, if you're under the watermark. Um, so that is the Euro Bison and the Golden Bison continues um, to make profit um, as we traverse this space. Okay. All right. This one is really volatile. Let's take a look here. Um, Money Dragon is up almost 100% in just over one month of trading. Now, remember my mantra on this channel, explosive gains equals explosive losses. But that being said, the profit potential here is very, very high. Before I talk about it anymore, understand that nothing in this video or this live stream is considered financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. There's extreme risks in trading, especially when we see crazy profits like this, because that means that this can happen pretty fast. If it goes up fast, it could go down fast. Just keep that in mind. Losses do happen in trading. All right, let's go over the details of the Money Dragon. It is a PAM account on Lyrinix. The minimum entry right now is uh, $1,250. The is increasing uh, to 5K after April 22nd. Um, so if I get in now at 1250 and it increases to 5K, I do not need to increase my capital because I got in now. So I don't need to get in at the 5K. It's kind of like grandfathered in. It's just typically how these accounts work. The performance fee is very, very high at 50%. You keep that in mind that a performance fee is only on profit. So if I profit $1,000 in April, let's say, um, then um, come May 1st, half of that will be taken out and given to the trader and I take the other half. Um, there are no junk fees with this. It's just the performance fee. I can enter at any time and withdrawals are processed on weekends. Suffice it to say, I would suspect that if he's in a large drawdown on the weekends, he's not going to process those withdrawals. He hasn't told me that, but that's typically how it works. Uh, the, he trades everything here. It's manual trading. Um, he trades the cryptos, which Lyrix does offer um, some crypto instruments, gold and the indices all things that US people cannot trade. Uh, he will take trades during major FX news events, typically on crypto, because um, crypto doesn't really respond to typical red folder days in the FX market. So we will see him in crypto trades on, on news days if you are squeamish about that, because I know some people do. So now I'm asking these traders what they do in terms of news, um, then, uh, then this is not for you. Um, but uh, like typically Bitcoin doesn't react to non-farm payroll or um, Fed minutes, things like that. Um, it, it, it's more retail based. Um, all trades are, are disclosed when positions are closed. Um, so that, that is his prerogative. That's how he has it set up. There is a current MyFX book and I am in at just 15 risk units. 
see this one it, it's kind of hard for me because I would get it at 15 just because we don't have much history on this and it's really like it's it's not even a, it's a little over a month history on it now at two months if he does a hundred percent a month at two months I'll ROI typically I would get in with more than 15 units the problem is is, is this performance fee keeps me at 15. If the performance fee was like 25%, I could I could justify going in with 30 or even higher because uh, I would be more certain, more confident of an ROI. Uh, but this with this volatile nature of trading, um, I am going to um, not expose too much capital to this particular um, PAM account. Um, Money Dragon does have an IB program. Let's take a look at it. I forget what it's going to be. Money Dragon. Okay, uh, four tiered lot rebate structure. Um, very similar to many of the others that I cover on um, Lyrinix. Of course, we have the non-branded onboarding guide. If you are a Lyrinix IB, just uh, paste your link in right here and you could download it and uh, away you go. Um, so that's Money Dragon, very excited about this one. Um, I put a little, little more than pizza money on it but uh you know it's gonna it's gonna do its thing um 15 risk units in and uh so far monthly it's at a 79 percent uh, average so you know we'll see what happens like i say explosive gains explosive losses but you know if you're like me and you like to take some you know outsized risks this might be uh, you might want to follow me in this one uh, if not then uh, stay away also, with this, uh, you want to make sure that you are following my updates because I might adjust my risk capital. So just follow the post and however you have your community notification set up, you will be notified whenever I have an update regarding this particular um, PAM account. All right, moving on. Perfect PAM. So this thing is, I'm in the, with the most risk capital and Perfect PAM and Perfect PAM Enhanced. It's not like crazy like the last one that we that we looked at. It's just very slow and steady with low drawdowns. Um, this is kind of my one of my cornerstones in the passive income space is Perfect Pam. Um, I'm just letting it do its thing um, because you know 50 to 70 percent to 80 percent a year is fine for me. I don't need to see those weekly returns. This is going to be more of waiting for market you know minimizing losses until market conditions. Um, get to where they need to be, where the profits will return. So we have the Perfect Pam and the Perfect Pam Enhanced. Um, perfect Pam Enhanced just takes more trades. Um, it's down right now, but I know the trading team and I'm not worried about this in the least because um, the drawdowns are kept under control. And I know when the market returns to conditions where this, where the bots become more profitable is where I'm going to make my money. Um, so this is kind of like just I'm parking IB comp here. I'm just going to let it do its thing. Um, both of them took a small loss. Perfect Pam was a zero point minus 0.29% last week. Perfect Pam Enhanced uh, took a hit of about a quarter point last week. So yeah, I'll take those small hits as it goes. Um, but the thing that's you know super impressive is we have you know all this history from November of 2022. Um, and Drawdown never went above 7.12% with a beautiful profit. So... Uh, newer people to the space, you know, they look at, you know, they'll, they'll look at Money Dragon and they'll say, you know, 98% and, you know, just, a, you know, five weeks of trading is where I want to be. And then the people that have been in here more often are 7.12% uh, trading, you know, for since November of 22nd is where I want to be. So it's just different strokes for different folks. Um, you know, I know that a lot of people aren't going to get into this right now because, um, it took a quarter point hit last week. Um, but the people that have been in the space for a while are going to continue to add um, more to this. So let's just talk about it. Uh, Perfect Pam, the minimum is 1000 with a performance fee of 35%. There are no um, junk fees with this. Trades are disclosed with a one hour delay. You can enter and exit at any time, which also process once a month. And this trades the major FX pairs. I'm in at the most of any, um, any of these platforms at 70 units. Um, there is an enrollment guide for this intro video and then updates are right here. If you are in this, I strongly encourage you to be following this post 
and you will be notified whenever there are any changes that are made to this opportunity. Now, Perfect Pam Enhanced is just a, it takes more trades than the Perfect Pam. Um, same thing, minimum is 1,000, performance speed 35%. And if you are interested in learning more about these opportunities or these algos specifically, you can download the presentation deck right here and it goes over all of the criteria that these algos use to trade the markets. Now these are more, these are probably the most complex algos I've seen in the FX space um, without being in a, um, like without being one of these Wall Street houses. Um, so, you know, this team is on it. They are really, really good. And I am really happy that I am in the perfect PAM. And I'm just going to, this is the kind of thing where I, I, you know, if I didn't have to do these reports, I wouldn't even worry about this on a weekly basis. It would be more like a quarterly basis for me. I would, I'd be looking at these numbers. Uh, if you are in Lear and XIB, um, there is a four tier lot B rebate structure it is the same for both perfect PAM and perfect PAM enhanced. And of course, we have the non-branded onboarding guides ready to go. So that is Perfect Pam. Next up, we have Quant, Quantum FX. So the Quantum FX bot is up over 18% since November of last year. And I got a healthy gain last week of one point. And I'm pleased to see that the trading on the live account is unfolding exactly as it has shown on the demo account where we've seen trading since April 10th. And we've seen a huge gain of 246%. So we can see it unfolding the same way. Um, but before I tell you any more, understand this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. There is extreme risk in trading, including a complete loss of funds. And it does happen from time to time. So let's go over the details on Quantum FX. Quantum FX is a PAM on LQDFX. The minimum to get in is just a hundred bucks. So it's a great starting point for a lot of people. Performance fee is only 30%, and that is only on profits. If there is no profit, there is no fee. And there are no management fees with this, no withdrawal fees, no junk fees whatsoever, except for that, because I take off money with crypto on LQDFX, so I get that third-party processing fee. Withdrawals are once a month, sometimes less, depending on if trades are open. But we have seen in the past, and we can look at it right here, that the uh, trader does close positions um, just to get let, allow people to get out. So we have seen that in the past. Um, he does do that, which is really nice to see. Um, pairs traded are these. Those are the instruments traded. We have the public MyFX book for the demo account and for the main account. There is a Telegram support group for this particular opportunity, which is rare and it is very nice to see. So if you have any questions regarding this, you can just uh, click on this link and you can um, speak to the trader or the PAM manager. Um, it is separate, I believe, in this for this opportunity and get any answers, get questions, get answers to any questions you may have. I'm in at 30 risk units and I probably will be increasing that. Um, I'm going to make a note to re-examine that. And the reason why is the trading, now that we have um, now that we have a lot of history on the live account and we see that it's really mimicking the, um, the demo account, these are the same, it's the same bot that's doing the trades. Um, I really like that and it gives me more security in knowing that my risk capital is being managed properly. So I'm going to increase risk capital on quantum plus um, the 15th the first and the 15th of the month is when lqdfx releases ib comp so this is a good time if you are an ib a lyrinx uh, lqdfx ib to look at redistributing that compensation into various platforms and uh, quantum and one other uh, which i'll talk about in a minute are um, where i want to put the those funds uh, we do have the enrollment guide right here uh, we do have an onboarding video uh, as well as the enrollment guide, which is phenomenal. Uh, and this is the intro video that I did. And when I do increase my IBs, my, when I do increase my risk capital to this, I will notify, I'll post right here. And if you are following this post in the community, then you will go ahead and get a um, notification, however your notifications are set up. There is an IB um, component to Quantum. So if you are an LQDFX IB, um, there you can make income by referring people to the broker and there is a non-branded onboarding guide for quantum fx so you just take your lqdfx link you paste it right here and download 
and then you can give it to your downline. And uh, yeah, they pay the first and the 15th of the month. Uh, Lyrinx pays every day. That's a difference there. Uh, yeah, so Quantum FX, I'm happy to see that this mirrors this, and that is why I will be increasing my risk capital. Uh, so I'm super happy about that. And uh, let's take a sip of water. Now I'm just going to blow my nose. And I muted the microphone to spare you that sound effect. <laughs> All right, let's move on. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, this one's really hot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the Samurai has been running on Lyrinx as a copier since March of 2023, with a gain of over 188% on the master account. Now, this trading team bought, brought this suite of bots, this bot trading, to the Western world as a PAM account with a significant, significant performance fee discount and a much lower minimum entry. Last week, the Samurai Pam got me a profit of over 1.7 of over 1.74 percent, and I'm very excited that the Samurai team has opened their pound euro copy trader called uh, Samurai EG to the Western world. Now, this copier focuses on trading the euro and the British pound sterling, and is up over 216 percent since July of last year. And last week got me a gain of over three and a quarter percent. Before I tell you any more, understand this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Even though these accounts make crazy, crazy gains, losses can happen, including complete loss of funds at any, any time whatsoever. So just keep that in mind as you consider these things, um, if you consider them. Um, so let's go over it. Um, so the Samurai, uh, the regular Samurai is a PAM on Lyrinx. The minimum to get in is 750. The performance fee is a very reasonable 25% only on profit. If there is no profit, there is no performance fee. Um, there are no junk fees with this. Entries are manually approved and withdrawals are done between the first and the fifth of every month. All trades are disclosed with a 15 minute delay. This is all bot trading and that is to prevent people from copying those bots. There are, um, oh, this trades the major FX pairs. Um, this is the regular Samurai. And there is a My FX book on the history on this account that I showed you and the current My FX book. I'm in at 50 risk units just because we have so much history on this and the gains are so um, lucrative. There is a full enrollment guide right here. There's an intro video. And if you want to get any updates like when they change the monthly withdrawals, or when the withdrawals are processed or anything like that, you wanna make sure that you are following uh, this post right here. That being said, let's take a look at the Samurai EG. Now the Samurai EG is a copier on Lyrinx and the minimum is $1,000. The performance fee is 30% and that is only on profits and the performance fee is taken out weekly on the copier. Whereas with the Samurai Pam, that is taken out monthly. There are no junk fees with this. With the copy trader, I can enter and I can exit at any time whatsoever. All trades are disclosed, and this particular copier trades the euro and cable. Um, euro and cable. And there is a public MyFX book, and I am in at 50 risk units on the copier as well. Now, with the copier, it's very, very, very important that you are following the trader's recommended enrollment guide right here and you are following by equity with a minimum lot size, and you are golden. Now, with the copier, it's very important that you are following this post because if there are any changes that happen, um, that I will notify people via this post, and however you have your community notification set up, you will be notified that way as well. Okay, now, there is an IB program for both the Samurai and the Samurai EG, uh, as soon as it loads. It is the same exact IB program, uh, four tiered lot rebate structure. And we do have non-branded onboarding guides for both the Samurai and the Samurai EG. So all you have to do is just come in here, paste your affiliate link, and you can download it, or you can make a copy to your um, Google Docs account. And that is the uh, Samurai. 
um, and the Samurai EG. It is continuing to crank out profits and uh, you know, it's phenomenal opportunity for us in the community. And if you do like this content, if you are watching, please do like and subscribe and share this um, with whoever you like. Um, it does help our community grow, helps trigger that YouTube algo. And when our community grows, we get more of these opportunities um, within the uh, community at better terms. I always try to negotiate better terms for our community members. Okay, next up we have SMC Elite. This is a new one. So SMC Elite is a new copy trader on Lyrinix. Um, we do have some extended history with this trader. It is, it's, it's some extended history, it's not a lot. But he's shown some decent profits in the past. And last week, uh, he got me 13 points. So I like that. Uh, but remember that this is not financial advice, okay? Um, so basically, I'll just run through it. SMC Elite is a copier on Lyrinix. The minimum is 1K. The performance fee is hefty at 50%. Just keep that in mind. And it's taken weekly. There are no junk fees with this. You can enter and exit at any time. He trades all kinds of crap with this. Um, FX pairs, crypto gold. Might even trade other CFDs like oil. Who knows? Um, he avoids news events um, unless he's stuck in a position. Um, he will try not to. Um, he'll try to avoid news events. So he says. Um, user defined risk settings. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, all trades are disclosed when positions are closed. Uh, we do have the publicly available historical MyFX books and also a current MyFX books. I'm in at ten risk units on this one just because it's a very volatile PAM. I don't have much history on it. I'm sorry, copier, I don't have much history on it. So I'll put a little little in there. Uh, 10 units is fine for me. Um, do have the enrollment guide. And of course, with a copier, it's very important you are following this post to get any news notes and nuggets related to this particular opportunity. There is an IB program for SMC Elite. It is the standard four tier I lot rebate structure um, that we have for Lyrinx. Uh, next up, we have Wall Street Bulls. Now, Wall Street Bulls is up 41% in just over one month of trading. And last week, got a gross profit of 6.23%. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say, he spelled Wall Street wrong. Well, he did spell Wall Street wrong. It's, it's, it's Wall Street. It's two, two words, but it is what it is. Uh, we won't harp on that. Uh, we don't have much history with this, um, but... I will say that it is it is a trader that we do have at least a month of history. It is a trader. He was a prop firm trader, and a lot of there's a lot of volatility going on with prop firms right now. So a lot of them are moving to PAMs. The thing I don't like about it, I mean, the performance fee is 44. percent It's less than that 50 percent. Some of the others, but it's still on the higher side. But the minimum to get in is 1,000. There are no junk fees. You can enter at any time. Um, Withdrawals are approved on the weekend when positions are closed. He may hold trades on red folder days, big news events. Um, all trades are disclosed when positions are closed. He trades everything except indices. So this will be a smorgasbord. As a public MyFX book, I'm in at 20 risk units on this. The reason I'm in at 20, I did see some of the trades and I, and I, I do kind of like it. And I do like the, the gains versus the drawdowns. And it is a 44%. But what I do like is the profit factor at 2.08. As, as long as it stays at 2.08 uh, above 2, I think I could ROI pretty fast. So we will see. Um, so that's why I'm in at 20. Maybe it's a bit high. Um, I might have been in a really good mood that day when I put 20 in, but we will see. Um, yeah, so that's Wall Street Bulls. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it. That is a newer one that we are in and watching. Decrease on Wall Street Bulls. I'm just making a note. I just want to see why I did the 20. I don't quite remember. Because typically I would go 15 on this. But there might be something that I don't remember about this. But I'll, I'll look at my notes. Okay. Um, and then we come to X Growth Fund. Yeah, this one is really, really nice. Okay. So... 
X-Growth Fund is a PAM that was actually brought to me by a member of our community, which I love. Like lately, like a lot of the community members are bringing me things to look at. So I just don't have time to do like everything. So that's great. I love that. Uh, and this thing is up over 263% since September 8th of 2023. And last week he got a nice one and a half uh, points of profit, gross profit, which is phenomenal. Um, but before I tell you any more, understand this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. I am just a passive income guy, uh, uh, passive trading guy, active trading guy that just looks at these things and it's what I'm doing. Uh, you know, if you want to do it and you want to speak to like-minded people, you know, head over to the community. We're always here to help. All right, so yeah, this thing is really nice. Oh, it got a uh, got a point one one percent today alone, so that is really nice. Um, so we are we we're in profit today. Let's go over it. Um, all of the particulars of this. So this is bot trading. Um, it's a Pam on LQDFX. Uh, which is a great broker. The minimum is five hundred dollars. Nothing, nothing crazy. The performance fee is thirty percent. And the way a performance fee works, it's only on profit. If there is no profit, there is no performance fee. So if I make a thousand dollars on in this, let's say a thousand even in April, May first comes around, the broker is going to take out three hundred and give it to the trader, and then uh, the remaining amount will remain in my account and available for uh, future trading. There are no junk fees with this, except. Um, now, you, uh, there's people watching from all over the world, but I have to, because I'm in the US, have to get in and out with crypto when I take uh, funds off with crypto from this broker. Um, there is a third party processing fee um, that I have to pay. It's like five to 8%. So it is, it is I consider it a junk fee, but it is what it is. Um, withdrawals are odd on this. It's the first of each quarter. I have never seen that before, but that's the way he's running it. Um, all trades are disclosed in real time. Um, he trades the major FX pairs. There is a public MyFX book. There is also very appreciative of this Telegram support. And there, he's also in Lander is also in the community the trader. So you could contact him, you could DM him. You can post in the platform discussion space and tag him, or you could go on Telegram. All of those are valid ways. I am in at 30 risk units and I will be increasing that. Increase risk units for X. Um, growth. Um, and the reason why is um, LQDFX pays their IBs on the 15th and 1st. So today um, IB comp comes in and I'm going to just put that right into X growth, uh, a lot into X growth. And some I'm also going to put in to quantum. Um, so for sure, I'm going to be increasing my risk units on both of those. There is an enrollment guide right here. Um, that you can use if you are interested in getting in here. And if you wanna know when I increase my risk units or anything that happens here, from my perspective, make sure you're following this post in the community. And however you have your community update set, I can go ahead and update you. Um, you will be updated and notified um, however you have that set up, via email or chat or um, app or whatever it is. Um, X Growth Fund does have an IB program. It is the standard LQDFX two-tiered lot rebate structure. And we do have non-branded onboarding guides for X Growth Fund. So if you are a LQDFX IB, you just paste your link right in there and you can download it right here in any format you like and send it to your IBs. If you wanna um, edit it and save it, you can make a copy to your Google Docs account. Uh, so yeah, X Growth Fund, I mean, Lander's phenomenal trader. Uh, he's managing the bots. He's doing a great job of it. Um, you know, he's making a tremendous amount of profit. And, uh, you know, our profit factor is still right around two, which is killing it for this month, this much history, um, killing it at, at around two. So I'm really, really happy um, to see X Growth Fund do so well in this space. And remember, um, to get more opportunities, this one was brought to us by a community member. So we're trying to grow our community to bring more of these opportunities to us and at better terms. So please do like and subscribe and share this information. It helps our channel grow, it helps our community grow, and it helps um, bring more things into the fold. Um, and I'm always looking on the lookout for more opportunities. Speaking of which, uh, this is one that we're looking at, and this was brought to us by a community member, Ajmal, who is a trader in Malaysia. Now, this is a copy trader on Lyrinix, and you know he's up <laughs> since June 13th. He's up 2,600 percent. 
all right, with a profit factor of, it's obscene. The profit factor is obscene, 31 for this long of a time. I mean, it's it's obscene. Here's the thing, though. It's very risky because it is somewhat Martingale. It's actually straight Martingale. I'm not really, he's in a big drawdown right now. He's at, he's at like a 47% drawdown. So I do have, and, and to copy this, it's going to be fixed lot units and it's completely different than anything else. And, and there's all kinds of reasons for this that I got to get into and I explain these things, but I'm not putting it out there until um, this drawdown goes away. Um, and it, it, he's been in this drawdown for a few weeks now. And you can't even see it on here because, because there's over 2,600% gain. So you can't see it now. That being said, uh, if you do really need to copy this, you can go into this post, and I do have the correct settings for the copier in there. If you wanna take it upon yourself to go ahead and do that, you can. Um, the other thing that we're looking at is this one, Golden Buffalo, he's up 4,200% um, since the beginning of the year. Uh, this is another copier, profit factor 9.9, .9, another ridiculous cop uh, profit factor. This trader is based out of Vietnam and he doesn't speak conversational English. So um, I'm arranging for an interpreter. I'm going to ask him some questions before I get into this. Uh, but this is one that we will be looking at in the community. Um, the thing that is really crazy is, and it's nuts. He's up 4,200% his max drawdown is 8.83. Keep in mind that my FX book is snapshot drawdown. So it's only going to be drawdowns that takes a snapshot of the trading. Uh, it doesn't calculate the intra-trade drawdown. So that's why it can be misleading. Uh, but I need to speak to him to see what the story is. How does he get 4,200% with a max drawdown of, of less than 9%? I've never seen that before. Um, I don't believe this number. I'll just tell you flat out, I do not believe this number. I think it has to be a lot higher. Um, but I got to speak to him before I get into this. But if you want to get into Golden Buffalo, I mean, I don't even know if it's copied by equity. I assume it is. But before I know the, the copy trader settings, I can't, I can't get in because it's just too risky. And I can't assume that it's copied by equity, even though most are, 99% are. But like we've seen with Ajmel, he's not copied by equity. He's copy fixed lot. Um, and it's based on it's based on uh, equity. So those are coming down the pipe. Uh, we'll see what happens with uh, with those, and um, and then from there we will uh, move on to IB Comp. Now you heard me speak about IB Comp, um, and all of these do have IB Comp. Um, so basically, introducing broker is a way that brokers. Um, have us that go out there and try to get business for them and we get compensated for that. So basically you share your link and you get um, from your spheres of influence and you get commissions based on spreads and actual broker commissions. You get a portion of that. Enrollment uh, varies from broker to broker. LQD effects, it's like super simple. Um, Learnix is a little tricky, um, but we do support IBs in our community. Um, it's a very nice way to reduce exposure. It's completely scalable. The Forex market trades like four to six trillion dollars a day. So it's completely scalable. Um, each opportunity can have different compensation plans. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then obviously in the community, we have non-branded onboarding materials for all of our IBs. And it's very important to stay in contact with your IB downline to maintain your relationship. And obviously the income can be very significant. Uh, the way that an IB spread um, I, I'd be a lot rebates work is there's an order book and you will see the bid or what someone's willing to um, buy something at. You see the ask what someone's willing to um, sell something at. And then in between that price is the spread. And that is what the broker makes. So it's all about trading volume. And then the more volume there is, the more we make as an IB because we're making a portion of that spread. And that is how IBs work. Now, um, very, very important responsibilities of an IB is to be responsible. Um, understand that there are losses in trading and over explain that there are losses in trading. There is no holy grail, including a complete loss of funds. And like I said, there is no holy grail of trading. Uh, make sure your uh, people understand losses do happen and stay in contact and let them know what is going on, however you deem necessary. Okay, so... 
Um, feedback, am I overexposed? And I, I talk about this all the time, and I think that a lot of people in the community are starting to get it. Um, be careful not to overexpose your capital to any one platform. Any of these can blow up at any time. Diversify, take profits, and play the long game. These are extremely risky. And generally speaking, explosive profits also mean explosive losses. So just keep that in mind. Community reminder, you should be taking screenshots of all of your transactions, including but not limited to deposit addresses, enrollments, de-enrollments. Whenever there's issues that come up, I fully support everyone in our community. People in our community support each other. And a picture is worth a thousand words. And most of the time, it's like, I did this, or I did that, or I need to do this, or I need to do that, or this got messed up, or that got messed up. If you're taking screenshots of it, it's a lot easier to see what is going on. So please do be cognizant of that. Um, I wanna talk about uh, a brand new feature that we have in the community called the Trader's Reference Space, and that is right here. So basically quickly find answers to frequently asked questions encompassing cryptocurrencies, passive trading, terminology, and more. Um, now I was sick last week, so I went, I've been meaning to do this for a while now, and I couldn't speak, but I could type and I could research. So we made all of this right here. So like for instance, what is Elliott wave theory? Sometimes you'll see me talk about Elliott wave theory. You can learn about it. Um, what is slippage? That happens sometimes. Learn about slippage um, when I talk about something. And then if you have any questions about it or any questions about, first of all, any questions about any of these things, you can go ahead and you can comment and ask a question and I'll answer it. And this will become a knowledge base or you can go to, if that if something isn't answered here, you go to your tr platform discussion and you could ask it here. And if it's if it's something that needs to be referenced, I'll add it here. So this is basically like a knowledge base, a knowledge base for our community. And I, I hope it really helps people um, take the next steps and maybe you wanna become your own trader. Um, and that would be cool. So uh, I did that for our, our community. I put the time and work into it to create the trader reference section. So I hope that you guys utilize it and uh, it does help you. Next up we have, um, what is the Bitcoin having? A lot of people get confused about this. Uh, I see some people think of it as like a stock split. So like if a uh, stock is at $100 um, and you have 10 shares and a stock split happens, um, then you have that 10 shares turns to 20 shares Instead of 100, it'd be 50, it's 50. That's not what this is. Um, Bitcoin halving basically is in the blockchain code and it happens um, to increase the difficulty of mining Bitcoin. Um, and it's kind of the deflationary aspect of um, the Bitcoin halving. And we'll talk about that more in the news uh, section of the live stream. But just understand it is not stock splitting. It is not, it's completely different. Um, it just makes it harder for miners to mine Bitcoin, uh, which actually um, makes miners lose money, actually. Uh, so it just becomes more work to make money by uh, operating the blockchain. But it is a very, very important part of how blockchain works, specifically the first blockchain, which is uh, Bitcoin, or the first widely used blockchain. Uh, Remember, we have the passive trading knowledge um, in our circle community. Now, these are featured posts that we have right here, um, which are also interested not to be confused with the trader reference, which is more of a knowledge base. Um, these are featured posts that um, a lot of people, oops, sorry, a lot of people can use. My mouse just went haywire there. For instance, um, crypto wallets, balance versus equity. Um, DeFi tips, all these things are right here for you to um, enjoy and to learn from. Um, back to this. And then the, uh, the uh, quiz of this quiz that we're gonna go over this week. And I'm really happy that 57% of people got this right. What is profit factor? You see me mention profit factor in this stream. Um, the measure of profitability of a trading system. A profit factor of one or um, higher is a profitable trading system. Um, profit factor of a full-time retail trader is usually between one and two. Uh, and we've seen some crazy profit factors like with the Ajmel and some of the others. Um, but yeah, a profit factor uh, higher than two, I, I, I really need to investigate. Um, it's usually not sustainable, but 
I'm happy that a lot of people understood that profit factor is key in measuring the profitability of any trading system. And I like to use it when evaluating bot trading specifically. But if you go back to my older videos where I was testing trading systems 100 times, I would always go over the profit factor. Um, I do find it as a key metric in evaluating trading systems. That being said, let's move over to the news. And we do have some interesting news articles today. Um, a lot of information on stable coins. Um, I think that we are, as this market unfolds, we are going to see more and more data come out about stable coins and their vulnerabilities. But this, I found this article interesting. Stable coin growth is more important cue for crypto bull market than Bitcoin ETF inflows. Um, so basically what they're saying is that stable coin uh, how many people are buying stable coins can tell us uh, what's going on in crypto because in theory, uh, the more people are buying stable coins, the more trading will happen because they're going to use stables to trade, which is an interesting theory. But it also highlights uh, all different metrics you can use to understand um, Bitcoin volatility. And then we can see here that stable coins are seeing adoption as cross-border settlement mechanism. Bernstein is a big broker. And uh, we're going to see that um, one of the nice things about the blockchain is it's very cheap, instant, and verifiable and traceable to have all of these um, stablecoin transactions for cross-border payments. Um, and as anyone that's in these passive trading opportunities or in DeFi understand that it is key and crucial port, point, point in uh, crypto is um, stablecoin uh, usability. And we can see here, that Tether is 75% uh, of the market share and USDC has 22%. I prefer USDC personally, but Tether is ubiquitous. So it's kind of, um, you need to use Tether as well. Um, but yeah, USDC is definitely preferred for me. Um, this one calls for, and this is the theme uh, this past week was uh, regulatory response to stable coins. Typically, what inevitably that means is a CBDC, um, but it doesn't have to. We can see some more regulation in stable coins like USDC is obviously more regulated than Tether. That's why I prefer USDC because there's more transparency behind it. Although I take all of it with a grain of salt, I wouldn't use a stable coin as a store of value. I just use it for transactional purposes. Um, but more government scrutiny with stable coins is a double-edged sword. There is good and there is bad, but we are seeing more, um, especially in the U.S., more attention to it. Um, is this the next one? Yeah. Uh, interestingly enough, um, a lot of the companies that got approved for um, Bitcoin ETFs, um, they're thinking right now that the Ethereum ETF is going to be denied. Um and I think that's just a function of the government of being an election year. And um, from the left, especially, there's a lot of pushback in the US um, on crypto. So it does not look like um, the Ethereum ETF will be approved this year. Uh, if there is a administration change, which is becoming more and more likely, um, I am sure that crypto is going to be taking off and the, all of these um, approvals will happen. So we'll keep an eye on that. Chainlink, um, when I was big into DeFi, um, you used to have to ch take like Tether, obviously operates on all of these different blockchains. Um, so you have Tron, you have um, Ethereum. Everyone knows Tron and Ethereum. Now, how do you move it from one blockchain to another? Um, there were all of these bridge apps that you can use where you could connect your MetaMask wallet to it and, and basically bridge, it, what it's called, when you take a coin and you move it from one blockchain to another. Chainlink wants to do that in a big way, which is needed. Now, I used to have a few that I would work with and they're not even there anymore. Um, so typically, in the rare instance I have to do it these days, I just use a SEX to do it, a, a centralized exchange um, that has the blockchains I'm looking for. Um, but a DeFi way to do it is definitely much preferred. Um, so it looks like Chainlink is going to be using that, which is great news. I am, am uh, I will be awaiting um, that to come to the market. Um, and then obviously the administration's crackdown on crypto continues um, by going after Uniswap, which is a decentralized exchange, <laughs> which is really perplexing to me why they would do this. But uh, decentralized exchange is the best of every world. 
Um, you know how you had the FTX debacle that can't really happen with a, with a decentralized exchange because it's all run by smart contracts, not by people. But apparently the government doesn't like that. So they gave a Wells notice, which means that they intend to, SEC intends to go after the, uh, after Uniswap, which is unfortunate, but hopefully before any damage is done, we will get a change in administrations and that will quickly be cut out. Um, HSBC um, CEO says that the future will be tokenized products. So that's basically like gold on the blockchain. So it's basically like a CFD contract for difference, but it'll be on the blockchain and then it can be tra traded in like DEXs or SEXs, but hopefully decentralized exchanges like a Uniswap where I could go and trade gold um, or I could trade oil without using a broker, without having the risk of a broker go out and uh, just use a decentralized exchange where you're only relying on the smart contract and all of the equity is locked. Uh, meme coins. Um, I'm, I highlighted this article to talk about correlation. Whenever Bitcoin um, goes up or down, all of these um, altcoins follow. Um, it just, it's just proportional, just how it works, unless there's fundamental data about any of these other coins that changes that. But that's why it's so hard to trade all of these altcoins because they're all correlated to Bitcoin. So just understand when Bitcoin goes parabolic, all of these altcoins go parabolic. When it when it takes a crap, all these altcoins take a crap. It is a highly, highly correlated market. Um, and then uh, finally, the Bitcoin halving. Um, we spoke about this before. Um, all Bitcoin halving does is it makes it harder for, um, for miners to um, mine Bitcoin and they make less money. Um, the thing that it does is it creates a lot of media uh, outlets pick it up because they don't understand what Bitcoin having is. So it kind of raises the price of Bitcoin, just getting that attention on it. People are like excited, the having, the having, the having. But it's it's really a nothing burger. It's basically it goes up because retail traders don't know what they're doing and uh, they're just buying just to buy. But it's uh, it, it's just a function of the blockchain. It's nothing special. Uh, the end result is it just makes Bitcoin harder, harder to mine. Um, until it gets up to um, 22 million Bitcoin. They're currently around 19.65 million Bitcoin. And there's another 1,035,000 1, Bitcoin to mine. And then after that, um, there is no more Bitcoin that can be made. Um, and then it becomes very scarce. Um, so that is what's in the news. Uh, let's look at a Bitcoin update. I know everyone is f freaking out in the markets, right? But I've been we've been talking about this for we've been talking about this for over a month. It's just trading in a range. It's all it's doing. Right? It's just trading in this range, which we've been talking about forever. Just expect it to go up and down, up and down. It's it's ho hum. This is the hour, the hour time frame, right? So what are you looking to do? You're looking to short when it gets up here, you're looking to long when it gets down there. I ideally because the daily is is still going up. You, we would prefer to get in longs to, to get in with the higher time frame trend, but this is ho-hum trading. This is just consolidation. I mean, it's just it's just making this pattern. Boom, 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 until hopefully it goes like that, right? Hopefully. Um, but it could pick up more buyers down here and then go up. But it is what it is. I mean, a, a bunch of people got shorted. I forgot to put that article in there, but you know, there's a bunch of longs that got killed when, when it made this move down. Um, here, but I don't know why. I mean, th this is the next, this is the firmest support in this consolidation. I don't know why you would want to be liquidated here, but it's retail traders. That's what they do. Um, that being said, questions had one ARD is not making money. I've been with him for many months and with Martingale, I'm up nothing. Yes, yes. So you got to watch it uh, with the Martingale. Um, let's look at Artivan. Uh, Artivan, Artivan. Alpha, Artivan. Yeah. Yeah, so if you got in here, let's say you got in here, it's flat, right? Because he's getting in like this, and then up, and then down. So it's it's ho-hum. A lot of times with these trader, trading systems, what we're looking at is to not lose money during volatile conditions and then to make money during extreme, during when the market is comporting with the algo or the trading system or whatever it is. So this is flat. 
and this is high. But the idea is, is that this is going to go on for a while, and then eventually it'll get back up there, which is the idea. So that's how that's how it works. Um, I hope you were. Yeah, you gave that over an hour ago. <laughs> Maybe you're not in the live stream anymore. But if you have any questions about this, um, you could go ahead and go to um, go in the community, and then you go down to um, platform discussion, and you can ask away, or you are free to DM me. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you have an account with my FX book, you could actually like go like a month, and you can analyze it, and you can see up 8.89 percent, and then. You have the realized down 37.37% 3, unrealized loss. So you can see how it goes, right? And you just have to keep an eye. I, I highlight it every time that it's, he's keeping an open drawdown for a very, very long time. I mean, I highlight that ev literally every single time I talk about this one. Um, but that's just, that's just how it works. Um, okay, I think that is... Have anything else for you guys? No, no, I don't. Yeah, I just want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, head over to the community, say hello. Um, we're hanging out, we're talking about all kinds of stuff. And uh, make sure that you guys have a great day because you deserve it.